welcome to my channel learn and earn to live your life on your own terms welcome to my channel learn and earn academy and today in this podcast session 28 we are going to talk about finding a competitive edge now i'm going to share some of the valuable life lessons which i have learned through my own way and if you certainly would want to implement these measures it will have a great impact on your overall career growth as well so if you like this video you can press the like button you can subscribe to my channel and you can also share this video on social media now if you want to be rich in life there has to be no mercy when I say no mercy you have to go at what you want in life decide how much money you want to earn decide how you want to earn that money obviously that has to be legitimate and if you are not in a position to earn that much amount of money decide what are the skills required for you to get that money to become that much rich everything which you perceive which you see and put it in your subconscious mind you are going to achieve it so when you say that I am going to be rich it is your conditioning it is your conditioning of your brain which will make you rich it is the skill the knowledge and the experience which you will gain over your journey to become rich which will make you rich if you want to be rich first pay off all your debts and if you do not have a debt never think to get in a debt my personal advice is never go off go for a credit card because that will destroy not only the potential which you have to be a rich person but also will put you in a debt trap so if you are a person who wants to make big in life avoid a credit card the best option is not to even sign up for a credit card I know the companies the banks will come and give you free credit cards with a lot of offers but you should always try to refrain yourself from getting a credit card because once you get a credit card you fall in a debt trap once you get caught in the debt trap it is very difficult for you to get out of it so if you want to be rich in life if you want to make your finances strong my advice to you is never to get in any debt trap now why is it important for us to be nice at our workplace do you believe that once we are rude admin arrogant show power we can achieve results do you think that our subordinates our juniors or our seniors will listen to us when we are rude to them obviously not so why not to take the second option and be nice to all the people at your workplace at your school at your college because the nicer you become the nicer people around you also become so if you are nice to someone trust me the other person will be nicer to you than you were nice to them so it is more than give and take relationship so if I give 10% of my goodwill, a good behavior, I will get 20% back from the other person. It will not only enhance your productivity, but it will also reduce your stress. People will do more for you if you are nice to them. And this is something which we all do not understand, especially the people at the top. Trust me, be nice to people and you will see an exponential increase in the productivity of the people who work under you who work for you in your organization anywhere and everywhere this applies to every person you interact in the world and in your life every day you need to be prepared because this is the time this is the era where you will get opportunities not today but definitely tomorrow but are you prepared to grab that opportunity? I'm sure you are not. 
But can you not prepare yourself for each and every opportunity which you get in life? At least have the basics ready. Be a good communicator. Get good knowledge. Know about the world, what's happening. At least these basic things you can do every day. You need to more you need to know more about what you do. You need to be prepared for every opportunity which you get in your life. Because the opportunities will not come again and again. But if you are prepared, you will grab all the opportunities which come your way in your life. You need to grind yourself if you want to be successful. What do you think? People who are successful in their life have got it the easy way? No. They have struggled for it. They have grind themselves, worked hard. 12 to 14 hours is normal for them. 18 hours is something which they have given every day to achieve success and where they are. You need to read more than 3 hours a day if you want to be a successful person. Reading does not mean to read a book. Read anything. Gain knowledge. Get experience. Be more wise as a person. It's not your knowledge but the wisdom that will make you a great person. And wisdom only comes from experience. No matter where you work, in which field you work, you need to put your customers in position to succeed. You need to always listen to your customers because if your customers are happy, you will be able to great, not only achieve success for yourself but also for them. And when your customers achieve success and are happy, you will eventually achieve success. And when you will achieve success, people who work with you, who are in your organization and your organization as a whole will achieve success. So isn't it good that you put your customers first? You make sure that every decision you take makes the customer in a better position to succeed in life. My request is to please find your path. Always be a student. You need to find out what is my competitive edge. What are the people in my industry doing that which I can do and make it better? You need to find a competition for yourself. You need to find the competitive edge. What is that? Business is the most competitive sport. You need to find out what is your edge. Why should people buy it from you? Why should people not buy from the other person who is selling the product same as you? What is that one extra thing which you are giving to the customers every day? And once you figure that out, trust me, you will be the best person in this world who would not only deliver business to your customers but also earn and make profit for yourself. You need to disrupt industries. You need to provide solution to the people. If you are providing solution to the people, no matter what the size of that target audience is, you will be a massive success. Why do people... Or in fact, let me reframe the question. Why is Apple such a successful brand? Do you see Apple phones everywhere? In everyone's hand? No. Very few people, the high established people, the people who are rich, you will find them using iPhones. Does that make iPhone a less attractive brand? No. Everyone wants, desires and dreams to have an iPhone. Why? Because their target is that selective group of people, the rich people, the people who can afford iPhone. They do not target all the masses, they target their audience and they provide solutions to these audience, these target group of rich people. They give them the best service, best experience, best phone. And that is why these very same people buy every version of iPhone when it comes in the market. This is something which I would appreciate if you start following in your life. You need to find that competitive edge. What is that one thing which differentiates you from your competition? What is that one thing in your personality that will make you 
get the promotion than the same person who works with you as your subordinate. You need to find that competitive edge. And once you find that competitive edge, there is no one who can stop you. And you don't have to tell people that you have competitive edge. People will come to know themselves. So I'm sure this video would have certainly helped you a great and give you a great insight on how you can make your life a better life and how getting a competitive edge not only gives you a competitive edge in your life but also in your overall personality. So if you like this video, you can press the like button, you can subscribe to my channel and you can also share this video on social media. Please help us to spread education in this beautiful world. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you.